So, you think you're pretty good on that bike, huh? How fast can you go? Have you done any cool jumps? Pfft, that's cool, I guess, but compared to what I'm going to show you, that stuff is child's play. We took it upon ourselves to give your bike a bit of an upgrade. Better shocks, a nice new bell, and... Oh, I almost forgot. It can travel at the speed of light. What would you see while you're riding? And how would you look to other people? And this is safe, right? This is what if. And here's what would happen if you rode your bike at the speed of light. They say that traveling at light speed is just like riding a bike. Once you do it, you never forget how. Okay, they don't actually say that, but if you did manage to pedal your way to light speed, it's an experience you won't soon forget. The speed of light is about 300 million meters per second. It's a speed goal that may seem ambitious, but with the new bike we gave you, you should be able to get there. We do recommend wearing a helmet. You know, just in case. As you pick up speed, you're going to notice a few changes. First, you would experience time dilation. Basically, the faster something moves, the slower it moves through time. If you're biking along at the speed of light, time would stand still for you. Pretty cool, right? I need a break. Light speed is way too fast for me. But while I'm here, I want to show you something. Check it out. It's called Raid Shadow Legends. You can use the links in the description to download it on a bunch of different platforms like mobile or PC. Raid is an RPG turn-based game where you can assemble a team of champions, make them stronger, and start kicking major butt. Ever wanted to beat up an ogre? A dragon? This freaky looking thing? Well, then Raid Shadow Legends is for you. I also got a kick out of leveling up at the tavern. Like, they're all just hanging out like cheers, but with fantasy warriors. Also, there's this new feature called Tag Team Arena. Tag Arena is the next level of competition PvP battles. So, if you're like me and you love getting rewards for demolishing your coworkers virtually, you're gonna love Tag Arena. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you'll get 50,000 silver, plus 50 gems, plus one energy refill, plus one clan boss key, plus five mystery shards, plus one day XP booster, plus one free champion, Hexweaver. It's all there waiting for you, so what are you waiting for? Click on the links in the description and let's go slay some monsters. But then things start to get trippy. You'd see something called the Doppler effect. This would cause the color of the objects around you to become distorted. As you get closer to objects, they'll turn blue. With light, different colors show us different energies and wavelengths. The higher the energy, the smaller the wavelength. You're seeing approaching objects turn blue because their wavelengths are being compressed. If you look back at the objects you've passed, they'll start to turn red as their wavelengths are stretching out. The further you go, you would start to see wavelengths unseen by the human eye. Ultraviolet or infrared wavelengths would be so compressed that you could actually see thermal radiation. Enjoy the predator vision while you can though, it's not going to last. Here's the thing, the faster you move, the darker everything behind you will be as their photons will be less able to reach your eyes. It would be like biking through a big scary tunnel and eventually you would only see darkness. Also, now would be a good time to pump the brakes. If you bike for longer than one second, you may end up halfway to Mars. It would be an experience, to say the least. But what would it look like to other people? Well, research from the University of Surrey might be able to help us out with this one. Okay, so this is the bike before it starts moving. 
Clearly, they spared no expense on visual representation. Next, the bike picks up speed. The light scattered from the front wheel of the bicycle will travel a shorter distance than the light scattered from the back wheel. The biker is traveling so fast that when the light reaches the spectator's eyes, the bicycle will be much closer to them than it was when the light was scattered. Essentially, it would almost look like a long photo exposure in that the bike becomes one long movement. The bicycle will be made up of a patchwork of itself at different times. That poor viewer will see both your face and back at the same time. Will it be a once in a lifetime experience? Sure. Will they need therapy? We think so. In other words, it's a mess to look at. In fact, whoever watched this light speed bike ride is probably going to throw up. Talk about whiplash. So, could you burn some rubber and go as fast as the speed of light? Mm, no, sorry. As of now, traveling at light speed is impossible, especially for commercial bicycles. But what if we invested in that technology and were able to leave the speed limit in the dust? What if we had working warp drive technology? Well, that's a story for another What If.